Hi, I'm Gilad, Director of Product at Iguaza. One of the key challenges today when dealing with deployment of models is the data pipeline. Specifically consider a scenario where the data scientist would like to detect fraudulent transactions. And one of the key features is the average amount a person spent in the past three months. In the training environment, this is easy. All they have to do is take the transaction activity in the past three months and aggregate the data. But what happens when that model is deployed to production? Now the transactions arrive one by one. So someone needs to know that we need to aggregate this data for the past three months and then feed that to the model. Without this, the model won't work. So now the data scientists find themselves in a position that they need to know how to maintain all their complex features in two different environments. Alternatively, they may rely on a data engineer to build those features in development and production, but that would slow down the model development process because every time they consider a new feature, they need to ask someone else to do the work for them. This is where feature stores come in, and Iguazio's feature store solved this problem by allowing the data scientists to write their code once and not have to worry about the underlying technology. Because Iguazio's feature store is part of an end-to-end -end MLOps offering, the process is not just seamless. You also get some nifty features, like monitoring with shift detection on the feature level and model level, right out of the box. So here we see an example feature set of the transactions with various aggregations. This was created with very few lines of code, where all the data scientists had to do is define their aggregation logic. We have built an execution engine that is not just intuitive to use, but can also do any form of transformation that the data scientist would like. And all this code runs exactly the same in batch and in real time without any rewrites. In fact, you can even run this transformation in memory and get in a fraction of a second a preview of the transformed data. After the data scientists create their feature set, they create a feature vector, which is the input to the model. A feature vector automatically joins different feature sets. For example, here we join transactions and other events such as login or password change. During model training, the data scientists will evaluate the features and will select the most relevant features. Hence, we'll create a new feature vector. Finally, in serving, all the data scientists need to do is specify the feature vector to use, and the model serving would run the transformation graph in real time. So how do we get started? Here's the cool thing, you don't have to wait. Iguazio open source its feature store. It's part of MLRun, which is our open source MLOps orchestration framework. We encourage you to work with MLRun and the feature store using this open source framework, and we'll be happy to support you through our Slack channel. We also detailed in the Iguazio website the differences between our commercial and open source offering, so it's clear what you get in each package. Finally, I cannot stress enough how excited we are about the feature store. Our goal is to create the best feature store out there. Therefore, we encourage you to contact us if you would like to collaborate or would like to take part in our open source initiative. Thank you.